hey everyone it's tara and welcome back to another video so i recently did a poll on my youtube asking you guys if you wanted my next video to be d doing acrylic or poly gel and the majority voted for poly gel and i was like okay that's so perfect because i recently received this pr package from double dip and it happened to be a poly gel kit which this one is the classic edition poly gel kit by bellavina so i was like okay i'll just go ahead and use this poly gel kit to do my next set which is going to be a xxxxl <laughs> whatever poly gel set so right now i'm just unboxing the kit for you showing you everything that comes in it and i'm going to be using everything from this kit except for one thing but you'll see what that is later and so yeah i'll just go ahead and let you watch this unboxing just taking the base coat and I'm going to be applying it over the length of the entire nail including the fake nail tip that I have already glued on. I've seen some people say that they don't use base coat on any fake nail tips and you really should be doing that. I mean you don't have to you know do what you want okay but you're gonna be looking real mad and sad if you don't put base gel on your fake nail tips and you, you know why because first of all 
The reason that the base gel is there is so that it holds on, it makes the poly gel adhere to it. So if you don't put any base gel onto that fake shiny smooth um, nail tip, the poly gel is gonna lift right up off of it because it has nothing to stick to. And you're gonna be looking real mad and sad in a couple days when that poly gel is lifting right up off of that nail tip and it's only stuck to your real nail and you get lifting and air bubbles and you're gonna be able to see water up under there. You know, you're gonna be looking a little bit sad. So, you know, do what you want, do what you want. You know, I'm just here to help. I ain't been doing this for, you know, a long time or nothing and I don't know what I'm talking about or nothing, you know. So anyways, I'm just gonna do that on all the nails and then I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. Now I'm gonna take this beautiful gold, glittery, shimmery, sparkly, wonderful poly gel that came in this kit. When I seen this one, when I swatched it, I was like, oh my God, I have to use this one. I have to incorporate it. I just have to do something with it. And so I'm hoping that you already have some kind of basic knowledge about how to use poly gel. So I'm just gonna take it. I'm not gonna use that much slip solution. You know, you don't want it to be a wet sloppy mess. Just use enough to keep it kind of shiny but not too watery and wet and messy okay and just spread a you know a decently thick layer but not too thin because you don't want this to take you know a, a whole week to do this one nail and just spread it out all the way down across the whole nail and then uh cure it and then we're gonna do two layers of this gold glitter Okay, you guys, so on this second layer, this is where I'm gonna be paying a lot more attention to the cuticle area because in the first layer, I made the cuticle layer super, super thin because I knew I was gonna be putting, you know, the second layer on top of it. So here you can see, I'm starting to carve out my apex. I, well, I mean, I already kind of have an apex, unfortunately, you know, some people want that, but yeah, since I already kind of have one, it's, not really needing to be carved out but i still have to make sure i i shape it to my cuticle area properly so that you know because you want it to be thin and you don't want it to be mashed up and looking um flooded so you want to 
lightly tap it you know do small light taps and pats against your cuticle area and then also on the sides you want to make sure you're patting to keep your sides nice and smooth and the same thing with the very tip and all the edges of the um, nail you want to just make sure you're keeping the shapes the same shape as the nail tip or if it's your natural nail keep it you know going in the same shape and smoothness as the nail tip that way you don't have so much filing to do you know you could just see the side profile there that the nail is already so smooth and perfectly shaped already uh, you know not to sound like uh, bragging i'm just saying that's what you want to go for so you don't have to do so much extra uh shaping at the end you know you want to the, the thing that's so great about poly gel is you know see how here it's still wet and uncured and there's not going to be that much filing and shaping to do because i spent so much time doing that already in the first place now i'm going in with that nudish color and i'm going to be creating an extended nail bed and so i'm going in with kind of a lot but i'm going to be keeping the poly gel somewhat dry because you want to create the shape that you need but it's going to be hard to do if everything is like a sticky sloppy mess and by the way this poly gel is so easy to work with because it doesn't stick to your brush even if it does get a little bit too wet so yeah i'm just going to be carving out the extended nail bed shape so i'll just let you kind of watch that process So now that I have the nail bed shaped down as far as I want it to go, I'm going to use the spatula in to cut off the extra that's remaining and further shape out that nail bed shape that I want. I'm going to be cleaning off the sticky layer with some you know any percent alcohol or just the slip solution because i think it's the same thing and then i'm doing that because i need to file and shape it up to a really crisp like a really precise shape a really round precise shape because it's going to have to be super 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 perfect before i put the french tip color of the poly gel on So when I saw that there was a black poly gel in this kit, I mean, that's originally why I asked them if they could send me this kit in the first place, because I was like, okay, I've never seen a black poly gel before. And I really want to try this black poly gel because it's black <laughs> and black is one of my favorite colors. So 
I knew I needed to use this to do something with it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do some black French tips. But this black poly gel was so thick. And I mean, I, I don't think anything was wrong with it. I think maybe it has to do with like getting the like the pigments it took to make the poly gel become black. So it was really, really thick and it was a little bit harder to work with than the other colors. And you know, there's no problem with it. I don't I don't think there was like any errors with it. I think that's just what it took to make it become black. So, you know, thinking that uh, you know, it's a little bit harder to work with, I was like, I'm gonna probably have to do some really thin coats of it. Uh, to get it to cure because it's going to be harder for the light to get through so I'm just using thin coat I'm going to do two thin coats um, of it and I'm just spreading it up all the way around the French tip um, I mean the nail bag color sorry y'all I try to do my voiceovers in one take because I just ain't got time that's why I stopped doing voiceovers all together <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna do two coats of this black and then cure them for one minute each actually no I cured these for like two minutes each because I was so worried they weren't the light wasn't going to get all the way through care care this black for as long as you like feel like you need to if you use this black because I remember when I cured it for one minute at first some parts of it like felt real like um like uh rubbery it felt like it wasn't hard all the way yeah I cured these for two minutes each I remember
This next nail is going to be an ombre with a gold glittery color and the nude color. This one was so easy to do, very, very simple and very fast to do. So I did two layers of the gold. And what I did was like right at the area where my natural nail tip started, I just did a very thin layer and spread it upwards towards my cuticle. So that way when I put on the nude color and blended that nude color down, they just blend it so seamless, seamlessly. And it was just really simple to do. So right now I'm just putting on the gold color. And then, like I said, there'll be two coats of that or two, two layers of that, I should say. And then you'll see when I put on the nude color, how they just easily come together. So now that I had the glitter all spread out and ombre out to how I think it should look, I'm going to take the nude poly gel and just form out my nail bed to my liking with that. And I'm using a pretty thick amount just because I don't want to have to use two layers and because I want it to cover the glitter pretty well. And then I'm just going to um, form that or mold that down to cover the glitter and then to, you know, ombre <laughs> to do the ombre process with that as well. Right here, I'm just showing you how I reveal the extended nail bed and just to make sure that the black isn't covering any parts of the nude.
now here's where i was saying i did use one product that did not come in this kit and that was a clear poly gel and you know that's just because i chose to do an ombre and i didn't do it quite thick enough to where i would uh like where once i filed it down i wouldn't lose any any like glitter and you know that's just because i chose to do, do an ombre nail and yeah i wanted to cap it with clear so anyways this is how everything is looking now that it's all the nails have been filed and shaped next i'm going to glue on some of the diamonds that came in the kit and i'm going to be gluing them on using the base coat method and to do that you just put on a layer of base coat where you want the diamonds to be and then you place the diamonds cure them for 30 seconds or a minute or however long you want to cure them for then once they're cured you go back in and place a layer of base coat up against the diamonds so that they're like surrounded in base coat and then that's it i've never had an issue with doing this and they always stay pretty well so right here is where after they've been cured i'm surrounding them with a layer of base coat up against them and then you do want to spread it all the way back down so you don't just have you know a bulky layer of base coat there then you top coat it and that's it now you also have a layer of top coat helping to hold the diamonds down and they stay perfectly well unless there are super huge big diamonds you know then you're gonna have to use something a little bit stronger but yeah base coat works just fine for small diamonds like these Here's the final look you guys i absolutely love this kit everything about it was just so nice and luxurious and quality i mean it came with everything you need everything is like nice and just so easy to use so i definitely recommend you guys pick up this kit i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching